Uh, I think there's a fair amount of uh, common ancestry, but I, I'm certainly not uh, an advocate of uh, universal common ancestry. I just don't think the fossil record bears that out. I think the Cambrian explosion is a, is a perfect example where you have just uh, utter, you have these, these forms which are just there, poof, and there are no precursors. The Cambrian is the first period of the Paleozoic era. It's a span of about 50 million years wherein the earliest forms of all the current phyla appeared and many more were already extinct by the end and it ended hundreds of millions of years ago, before there were any mammals, reptiles, amphibians, or anything else of that sort. Not even sharks, insects, or recognizable plants existed yet, but Dembski expects us to believe that Bambi and Thumper and Curious George were suddenly poofed into a world of trees and flowers and chirping birds out of nothing all at once. He believes this only because his storybook says so, but that is not what paleontology shows, and he knows it. Very few Cambrian fauna still look like their modern descendants, and most of the rest died out since then, and some were so alien to our time as to defy classification. There were even some macroscopic animals who seemed to have gone extinct before the Cambrian explosion. How is any of that either inconsistent with evolution or supportive of intelligent design? How is it that animals as complex as trilobites and brachiopods could spring forth so suddenly completely formed without a trace of their ancestors in the underlying strata. Trilobites are the earliest members of a clade which today includes horseshoe crabs, scorpions, spiders, mites, and a handful of other horrors, none of which yet existed in the Cambrian, or they existed but were not yet fully formed. All these groups were derived during the Cambrian, along with Eurypterids and Aglaspids, earlier Xiphosaurs with a dozen or so eyes on their tails of all places, and many other crazy things which survived that age, and all of them are found in a chronological sequence implying stages of development from trilobites. Even if we forget about all these subsequent or descendant groups, the family of trilobites alone eventually grew to include roughly 15,000 species, and those are just the ones that are still recognizable as trilobites. Yet all of them were already gone millions of years before the first dinosaurs appeared. How is that inconsistent with evolution, or indicative of a divine design? And incidentally, trilobites do have Precambrian precursors in the underlying strata. It's a not quite trilobite, not fully formed. It doesn't even have eyes yet. So Dembski is definitely lying when he tries to cite the Cambrian explosion as either a challenge to evolution or indicative of design, and he can't pretend not to know better because... I mean, I was raised in a largely secular home. 